Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with some reviews and what a better way to start it off with some more weird and wacky products. You guys know I love the weird and wacky products as well. Um, and this time I found something pretty cool on eBay, uh, the 29 High Street shower gel. Now this is actually a brand new version of the shower gel. It is the kitchen version. Um, and this was sold through the kitchen subscription boxes. Um, and it was made in June. So I'm guessing this was either a part of the June subscription box or the July one. Just let me know down below in the comments, you guys that do get um, the subscription box. So yeah, like I said, I bought it off eBay secondhand. I do not get the subscription box myself. I do often get this question on my channel. Um, reason, main reason being the price. I just don't agree with the price, especially for the postage and everything like that. And considering all the other releases Lush does, I definitely want to focus more on that um, than the kitchen box and the products from the kitchen box. But if I do find one that I like on eBay and I do happen to purchase it, I'm more than happy to share it with you guys. So that's what I'm doing today. So the ingredients for the shower gel, there's quite a lot going on here. I'll tell you what. So we've got jasmine flower infusion. We've got water, sodium laurel sulfate, sodium cocoa ampho acetate, fresh lemon juice, which is great for, um, you know, breaking down those skin cells, uh, you know, those loose dead skin cells. Uh, laurel betine, perfume, propylene glycol, jasmine absolute, Sicilian lemon oil, lime oil, sandalwood oil, tonk absolute, lang lang absolute, no, lang lang oil, gardenia extract, lactic acid, once again, great for getting rid of those uh, skin cells, and some other bits and pieces like some alcohols and stuff that sort of preserve it and everything like that. So the color of it is really, really pretty. I like the consistency of this shower gel. It's not too thick, it's not too thin if I can sort of tip it a little bit. So it's got a nice viscosity to it. There we go, I'm using fancy words. Um, but, big but, the scent of this, it's good. Okay, who doesn't love 29 High Street? 29 High Street, for those of you who don't know, is basically the scent is meant to be the scent that you smell when you walk into a Lush shop. It's meant to be the culmination of all sorts of scent families coming together and smelling like a Lush shop. And normally I absolutely love the scent family. I have the uh, perfume spray. I have the solar perfume now. Um, and I've tried the Aubergine bath bomb, which was 29 High Street scented as well. And I found that fantastic. Um, but this shower gel sort of hits, uh, no, misses the mark for me. That's the right word. It misses the mark. Um, it's not as strong in scent as I would have liked it to be. Um, there's not enough woods going on. There's not enough sort of vanilla or sweetness going on. It just smells very soapy. It just smells sort of like, it's like a weak version of 29 High Street. It just smells almost like a little bit like uh, Calacas, but less punchy than Calacas even, because Calacas has that sort of soapy scent to it as well. Um, you know, you definitely get the lemon and the lime from it. Um, and... Yeah, like there is that woodsiness there. You can smell it. There is a little bit of vanilla there, but they they either didn't put enough essential oils in or they just didn't put the right amounts in to create this. Now, please let me know what your older bottles of the shower gel are like. I know they've made this shower gel before. Um, so please let me know if you've had this same issue. Um, but yeah, just it was a little bit disappointing and I definitely overpaid for it considering and I'm guessing this person that's selling it had the same thought that I did that when they tried it they went hmm no this is not quite right um and I am almost considering reselling it myself um it's just not what I was looking for um out of this product uh but yeah I think it deserves a three out of five I think three out of five is probably the fairest Thing that I can give it. Um, it is above okay, um, just because, yeah, the shower gel is nicely scented. Um, you know, I like the smell, obviously, but it's just not what I was expecting from the scent family. Um, and I do like the texture and the color of the shower gel, very representative of the scent family and what I want in a shower gel when I buy from Lush. 
so yeah if you do see this up for sale and it is the newer kitchen version just be careful especially if you're someone who really loves that intense 29 high street smell i was just left feeling really disappointed um and i use quite a lot of it as well like i made sure i squeezed out quite a bit and used quite a bit of it um so yeah it's just one of those things isn't it but yeah oh look i might use it a couple more times and see how i go um but yeah i don't hold out much hope for it unfortunately so yeah a bit of a dud this one but that's okay we sometimes get duds and um yeah hopefully they re-release this at some point and hopefully it has a much stronger smell because i would be very very keen for that so thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate all the support i get on this channel please stay tuned for more lush reviews like this um yeah there's always something that i'm working on that's lush related on this channel so uh yeah just subscribe and you know stick around and see what's going on uh until next time take care and i'll see you on the next video bye for now